Okay, what we have here is we have an Airsoft 1911 and a real one. All 1911s, if they're loaded or unloaded, should be cocked and locked. And I'm going to show you the Airsoft gun first and clear it. And then I'm going to clear this one. Before you show anybody an Airsoft gun, you should follow the same protocol as you would with a real gun. So what you're going to do is this is the way you carry it. What you're going to do is the first thing you want to do is drop the source of the ammunition. Make sure the muzzle's facing in a safe direction, which is a brick wall, so that nobody's in front of the muzzle. And keep your finger off the trigger. So we've removed the magazine and we've emptied the magazine to make sure there's nothing in there. So what we're going to do is take it off safe, but we're not going to put our finger on the trigger. We're just going to flip the safety off. What we're going to do is we're going to cock it. And normally with a real 1911, the ammunition would come out of here if there was one in the pipe. And we can't do that with an airsoft gun because of the fact that it's inside. So only airsoft guns can you fire it into something to find out if there's a round in there. Now most people think that this is empty and unloaded. But look at that. We got a BB. So that comes from the saying that we have to keep telling people is that guns are loaded no matter what you think. So this one was loaded. Now the way you're going to carry this one is when you load your BB in to the magazine I'm going to show you how you carry it if you were carrying it like a real 1911. What you would do is you insert the magazine and you have to keep it on safe because you have to rack the slide. So you rack the slide without touching the trigger and then you would let it come forward. You would let a normal 1911, you could let the slide ride forward, but since this has plastic parts, I would just move it manually so it doesn't bash up anything. Flip it on safety. Now, what you're going to do, when you do a drill where you're drawing from a holster, you're going to draw the gun from the holster, point it towards the target, and then what you're going to do is, as your finger is on the side of the weapon, what you're going to do is, when your muzzle is facing downrange, what you want to do is flip off your safety and then fire. After you're done firing and you have your target acquired, but you're not going to shoot any more shots, then you flip it back on safety again. And then, if you're on target again, you do the same thing. Flip it off safety and then fire. So on target, on target, safety off as long as you have a safe backstop and you know what you're shooting at. So on target. You're going to have it like this, and then as soon as you're off your target, you're going to flip it back on safe. So this one is empty, so what we're going to do is we're going to load it. And you have to make sure you're not too rough on these plastic ones because they, they can break if you're too rough. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip off the safety while maintaining our finger here. And what we're going to do is drop the magazine, put the BB in. or however many you want. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rack the slide. Okay, this gun is loaded and ready to go. Once again, if you're going to practice your draw, which is really fun to do, anybody can practice a draw on these. If you want to practice your quick draw, once again, remember when you're pulling it out of the holster, don't touch the safety until you have a firm grip you're towards the target, now flip off the safety, then fire. When you're off the target, when you're pulling the gun back in where you're going to put it on the table, flip it back up, just like that. Learn how to use the thumb. Okay, so this one, this one here would have to be cleared again the next time you look at it. If you walk away, you would have to clear it. Um, and the reason I say this is because if you have the real one, uh, you're going to make a mistake if you make a mistake on the airsoft gun. So you want to practice good etiquette with your 1911 on your airsoft gun so that you can properly handle a real 1911 once your parents allow you to uh, shoot a real 1911. 
So let's take the real 1911 and we'll show you some differences. One of the differences in this one is the hammer doesn't do anything. It's just there for looks. When the hammer touches a flat base there, nothing happens. So that's the difference between the two of these. So the real 1911, we're going to clear this and the same thing as the airsoft gun. You're going to drop the magazine, make sure there's no ammunition, okay? And what you're going to do is put your finger along the side here. Make sure you don't have your finger on the trigger. You're going to flip off the safety, pull the slide back, and there we go. We have a live, or not a live round, but we can pretend that this is a live round. When somebody drops the magazine, they think the gun is empty, but that's not true. So now that we have the dummy round out, what we're going to do is we're going to look down the chamber. Whereas the airsoft gun, we have we had a covering, so we couldn't look down. Look down the chamber, make sure there's no ammunition. Flip it upside down. We can check that mag well. There's nothing in there. So what we're going to do is this weapon has been cleared. So we're going to drop the slide. Some people drop the slide by flipping this uh, slide stop. I don't. I let it go like that unless I have a live ammunition in it. So what I'm going to do is when this is unloaded, this is the way you want it. When you load it, what you're going to do is you're going to insert the magazine, take it off safety just like the airsoft gun, put your finger along the side. Now this time, on this one, you're going to rack the slide really hard and let her go. Don't be afraid of being rough with her. So these serrations or wherever you grab it, make sure your fingers aren't in front of the muzzle. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull it back really quick and let her go as soon as you feel something stop here. Like that. Just like that. You want to do that and then flip it on safety. So this is ready to go. And the same thing with the real 1911. When you draw it out of the holster, you don't want to flip the safety off while it's in the holster or you will shoot your leg. So what I'm saying is that when you're here and you flip the safety off when you're drawing, while it's still in the holster, you could shoot your leg. What you want to do is pull it out from your hip. You want to immediately face the target and then punch out. But at the same time you punch out, you want to flip off the safety. And then once you've acquired your target, fire. And then what will happen is the slide will cycle for you because it's a real bullet. So the slide is going to cycle one more time for you, and you're going to be like this for your second shot. But if you only took one shot, and, and now you want to be off the target, flip it on safety. So now you're on safe again. When I'm on target, off safety. Off target, on safety. See? So I'm on target right now, safety off, fire. When I'm done shooting the target, safety back on. So this weapon here, even though it's been cleared and we demonstrated it, we would have to re-clear this weapon to show it again if we left this table or we got distracted by a phone call. So I'm going to load this one. I'm going to show you how to load the 1911. It's similar to the Airsoft version. But the most important thing is keeping your finger off the trigger. That's the most important thing. And having your safety on. So the safety's on, so let's assume this is a real bullet and this is an empty gun, okay? And we've cleared it, and we're going to do that now just to make sure you know it's clear. Nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magwell. And what you could do with the 1911 is you can have it like this, and then you can put in the magazine, chamber around by flipping off the, the slide stop there, and you're loaded. So this gun is loaded. And to clear this weapon once again, we're going to drop the magazine, finger along the side, flip it off safety, and then click on the slide stop. You notice that I hadn't touched the trigger yet. So that's one way of loading it. And the reason why you don't want to have the hammer forward on the 1911 is because of the fact that when the hammer is forward, even though the manufacturer said that it's okay, what happens is when this hammer is forward, it's so close to the firing pin or on the firing pin, which is spring activated, that the bullet that's in that's in the chamber, if you were to hit the hammer, 
or you have some kind of drop with the, with the firearm, the bullet could go off even though you never press the trigger. So we recommend that you carry cocked and locked. And a lot of people are saying, well, the hammer's cocked back. Oh my gosh. You know, but the 1911 is actually safer, safer than all pistols because of two reasons. Number one, you have a big safety and you have a backstrap safety. If I don't press this backstrap safety, the gun will not fire. You have to do two safeties to get the gun to fire. The first one is you have to hold the gun so that the backstrap safety is engaged to uh, allow the allow the hammer to fire the round, and you have to flip that off. So this whole thing about people saying that, oh my gosh, the hammer's cocked back, you know, like a revolver or something. Well, a revolver with a hammer cocked back is is unsafe. Whereas this one, you have one, two safeties, and the third safety is your finger. Keep your finger off the trigger. So that's all you have to know about that. So I've showed you the I've showed you how to load it this way. You could load it like that, or another way you can load it is you got it cocked and locked like this. I recommend that you load it like this so you can practice racking the slide because if you ever get like say if you carry when you get older and you're in a defense situation you have to learn how to rack the slide properly. You have to have the strength to do it and you have to be rough with it too. So once again we're going to put our finger there. Take it off safety while maintaining your finger there and what we're going to do is we're going to be rough with it. Okay. You want to pull that thing as hard as you can, and when it stops, it's going to come forward. Just like that. You're all set. If you can do that, you can carry a 1911 like this. If you ever get in a situation where you're in a self-defense situation, one uh, all you have to realize is that the back strap, you have to have a firm grip, and then you have to flip it off safety. And when you're done, flip it back up. So when I'm on the target, safety off. When I'm off the target, safety back on. And that's how you do it. So if somebody stores a loaded 1911, it's perfectly safe. But once again, if we're going to share with somebody and say, here, look at my new 1911, I'm going to drop the magazine, flip it off safety while maintaining my index finger on the frame, rack the slide back, got that round out of there, check the chamber, check the mag well. And this weapon has been cleared. And if we wanted to demonstrate it, we can take that dummy round and put it in. Never mix dummy rounds with live ammunition. You always want to check to make sure your workspace doesn't have any live ammunition. So what we're going to do is we're going to load this one back up because this protects the firing pin because there's nothing in the chamber. So this helps preserve the firing pin longer this dummy round because it hits the back here with the spring loaded piece that protects it. So we're going to load this again and notice my fingers right here. Flip it off safety. Pull it as hard as you can. Be rough with it. Okay, so she's all ready to rock and roll for testing if somebody wanted to test it. And before they test it, obviously you're going to clear it once again because you always want to make sure that uh, that it's clear. So, them are the differences between the real 1911 and the Airsoft. So, if both of these were loaded, you would have them cocked, cocked, locked. That's what they call it, cocked and locked. Just like in the Army or police officers, or anybody that you know that carries a 1911, I promise you they're, they're going to be carrying it cocked and locked all the time. So don't worry about the spring. Nothing's going to happen to the spring on here. If you cock it and you have the spring like that, and you want to do your uh, quick draws or whatever, uh, don't worry about the spring inside here when you cock it. So you can carry it just like this and pull it out, flip off the safety when you're facing towards the target, only time you flip off the safety. And then when you're done shooting target, put the safety back on. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video.